Hi everyone, it is day 13, 13 days really, 13 school days since I've last seen you, but today in maths we are focusing on partitioning, which is what I really enjoy. Um, now, again we'll just do a few examples. Now, what you'll do, you'll be given a number today's session, okay? So you could be given 8,346. Now, your first job is that you're going to have to write these out in numbers, okay? So you have eight. Now remember, eight is a common exception word, link, English link there. So you have 8,300. And 46, okay? But the important part, whilst that's good to do and being able to do that because it's one of your targets, we are focusing today on partitioning. So you need to be able to, partition is when you break up each of the numbers. So we have 8,000 plus, what's this number represent? Yeah, it's 300 plus 40 plus 6, 8,346, okay? Let's move on to our next one. 3,208. So again, writing them out in the written form. So 3,000... Can you see how I'm doing a comma after them as well? It's really important that you do that. 208, because obviously there is zero tens there. And then here, this is how you now partition it. So you focus on each of the numbers. So we have the three, which represents 3,000. You have the two that represents 200. We don't have a zero, uh, we don't have any tens, there's zero tens, so you don't have to do this. I see a lot of children doing that. No, don't do that because that's not partitioning because there's zero, there's no point in doing anything. So you just focus on the next place value, which is the ones, and we've got eight ones, so it's plus eight. So 3,000 plus 200 plus eight is 3,208. Nice and simple. I look forward to seeing your work. Bye.